Yeah, it tastes like sour cream. Yeah, that, yeah. Give me a chip, I'll dip it in there. Hello <laughs> friends, welcome to Scotty's Kitchen. Liz is holding the camera and I'm cutting potatoes. You marinate the chicken in buttermilk. Hmm. What is the deal with buttermilk? I, didn't, I don't know, have you ever drank buttermilk? No. I don't even know what buttermilk is. Will you drink some if I drink some? I'll take a sip. Oh, I thought it was a it's, lot thicker than It's a little it thicker. Okay. It smells like milk. It is, it is a little thicker, it looks like. No biggie? It, it kind of tastes like yogurt. Okay. So it's not, it's not horrible, it's a little sour. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like sour cream. Yeah, that, yeah. Give me a chip, I'll dip it in there. Okay. <laughs> anyway, marinated the chicken for about four hours in some buttermilk, so. Now, heat, round one is done. This. It's on top, cheese? Uh, no, the mustard and the white oh. wine is uh, mixed together and, and you spread it on it and then the recipe called for sweet Hungarian paprika. How many different kinds of paprika do we really need? I saw Bobby Flay and all them too on TV whenever they're like doing those competitions. They do chicken thighs because it has better flavor. I'm like, okay, huh? Okay, so now the potatoes are going in here. Bobby Flay does it. Hey. Everybody can do it. You'll not badmouth <laughs> Bobby Flay in my house. Yeah, that's about a tablespoon, what did you say, Elizabeth? <laughs> and my biggest fear, I don't use the cast iron skillet. We all use like skillets for today where you can grab the handle, right? When we were doing the funnel cakes, I came close to just grabbing that handle a couple times. <laughs> I'm gonna do it one of these times. Oh, I don't wanna be here for that. No, you do not. We're going back in the oven. Um, Oh, Betty Cox 101. <laughs> we would always sit down at Christmas for a Christmas dinner, and someone would take a picture. Dad would generally take the picture, and we're all sitting there at the table, you know, we got everything we're not. Invariably, the pictures would come back, and Mom would be like, oh, the cabinet doors are open. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking, before we started doing the video, I was like, make sure you close the... the <laughs> Laundry door. That's, and my mom will see this eventually and she'll get a chuckle out of that. Don't grab the skillet. Woo, come on. Yeah, that's a little crust on that chicken there. Yeah. All right, so this is going back in for about 15 more minutes. Plus the heat's going up. How do I use my oven? I don't know. Okay, I just realized Scotty screwed up his kitchen. I pulled that out and I thought it said 410, and I thought, well, that's what time it is. Because the oven was supposed to be set for 350. But I bet when I was over here jacking with it with a timer or something, God dang it. I bet it's still good, bet me. Ooh, there's potatoes. Yeah, buddy. Oh, those look so good. Don't you just feel like a professional chef when you sprinkle oh, dear herbs I. on? All those fresh herbs we were fretting about the other day. I think it's chicken maybe a little too crispy on top, but you know what? I'm gonna eat it anyway. You want you want a bite? Yeah, I'll take a bite. All right. That's good, got good flavor. Liz, who will act like she likes it whether she does or not. I can, I can taste those spices too. The herbs. It's pretty good, isn't it? 
I mean, it's chicken. Oh yeah. Potatoes are delicious. Really good, aren't they? Mm. It's very simple. You cook chicken for 30 minutes. You put potatoes in there, cook the potatoes in the chicken for another 30 minutes. Take the chicken out and cook the potatoes for 15 more minutes. So I kind of dig it. Cool. What would you give it on a scale of one to 10? Oh, it's good. I would give it like a solid eight. Yeah, it was delicious. Eight from Elizabeth and her shack it. <laughs> would you make it again as you take a bite? Yeah? I will make it good again. Nice. Maybe 350 burned and not 410 burned. When I screwed up the oven.